Zell Boy Army, welcome to another spicy one on the channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in for this one. We have the new team of the week and a new road to the final SBC. The new road to the final SBC actually looks pretty good. That's going to be the main focus of this video, but we're going to start off. We're going to start off by looking at this team of the week. Um, honestly, this team of the week is pretty dire, so we're not going to spend much time on it. Um, on the bench. Bamford, free star, free star kind of kills that card. Um, Dest, I mean, it's okay, but you could get the future star. Um, Marquinhos, too slow. Is this Gunter any good? Pretty meh. Um, Fakir's okay. That Fakir's not awful, but there's a better Fakir already, I think. Nabry, not awful, but not great. Andre Silva, too slow. Mertens. It's Mertens. Um, Benzema. I mean, the main thing about this Benzema getting in the team of the week, that's now he's got a 95. So, there's that. Benzema actually does look a bit usable now on his 95. I want to have a quick look at his headline of 95, and then we'll go look at the road to the final SBC that EA gave us. Okay, where is he? Karim... I mean, what I will say is you'll probably never see a 95 this bad. Like, he's not awful, obviously. He is at the point where he's usable, obviously. But, like, even with a Hunter, he's only got, like, 95 pace. And he'll be a bit clunky, like... I mean, it's a decent... With an engine, he's looking pretty... That is a... That, was a, that is a pretty good card, to be fair. Um, was there any other what-if upgrades quickly while we're here because it's like a 6 p.m content review did lee's malu get his upgrade is this caputo upgraded i don't know if that's today but that caputo looks pretty good now jovic that, that jovic looks really good now that's a card stick a hunter on him he is banging regulon one of the best left backs in the game now lee's malu Oh, they only gave him two pace. That's disappointing. Um, very good card still, but they didn't really upgrade him much. Some pretty good cards, though. Okay, let's go look at the new SBC they gave us. Darwin Matches. Um, this card's pretty crazy. It's a road to the final as well, which means if Granada get through their next Europa League game, they will get an upgrade for this card. But Granada against Man U. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I know a lot about Granada, but from what I do know, I don't think they're going to beat Man U. I, I wouldn't know what the bookies' odds are right now, but I can't see Granada going and beating Man U. So, they may as well treat this, in my opinion anyway, as a just a card. It's not even a live card. He's probably not going to get an upgrade. If he gets upgrades, geez, the card's already pretty good. He's rapid. He's got great shooting. I don't think you even need to put pace on him. So you could probably put a dead eye on, which would gain crazy finishing, 99 shot power, good passing. He's already going to be great on the ball. The issues with this card, though, he does lack the reactions and composure. He doesn't have any shooting traits. That's not, like, key, but, like, he has a lot of good stats, but then the reactions and composure will let him down compared to the top players. Um, For me, out wide, this card could be pretty crazy. Good physically, great on the ball, rapid. Um... I like the look of the card. If he gets upgrades, wow. But Granada are eighth right now in La Liga. Like, La Liga, I don't think is quite as good as the Prem anyway. Man U, I think, are second right now in the Prem. Granada are eighth in La Liga. Anything can happen over two legs, but yeah. I'd be surprised if he gets upgrades. How much is he going to cost, though? I reckon he won't be too cheap. We're looking at, like, 150k? So maybe 150k for this card. What do we think? Chat an 84. Decent chemistry. Need an 84 and an 83. Now team of the weeks. Yeah, about 150k for the card. The other thing as well is he occupies that left mid slot, which is pretty popular. And he doesn't really have any chemistry links. Is that Venezuela? I mean, I don't even I can't even name another Venezuelan player. I don't think Granada have anyone else. So he's not gonna have any good strong links. I don't think it's a shocking price for a card that could get an upgrade. And he is very solid, but I don't know. 
for me, he doesn't look too fantastic. Uh, I'm not. I wouldn't be desperate to get him. Let's compare him to some of the other options though he's got. Well, Solomon Rondon, yeah. <laughs> like this Pereira, he's Argentinian, which would be easier to link in. Pereira will be better all round on the ball, I think. Pereira can defend. Similar-ish physicals. Pereira's got better passing. Worse shooting. Like This Pereira um, is probably, in my opinion, easier to link in with the nationality and probably about as good. Let's compare him to Felipe Anderson. Another live card. Came out a while ago, to be fair, but... Four star, four star. Philippe Hansen will be better on the ball. Worse physical, better defending, better passing. I mean, they are very, very similar cards. The shot's very similar, just matches has more finishing, really. I mean, yeah, I don't think many people did this Philippe Hansen because I don't think they expected Porter um, to actually go that far in the Champions League, but they've made the quarters now. Um, I don't know. This Matches right now feels like if he was going to get a couple of upgrades at 150k, I'd be like, yeah, I'd, I'd do him at that price. But the fact it's the team who are 8th in La Liga playing against United who are 2nd in the Prem, I just, I just can't see him getting the upgrades. And for me, I don't think it means it's a shocking... I don't think it's a shocking SBC. I'm not going to say it's awful, but yeah... You're not going to really find him too easy to fit into a team. Being Venezuelan from Granada. Um, he's a great super sub. It's just a really expensive. Like 150k is a lot to spend on a super sub at this point. Um, he's going to be rapid off the bench though. And he already has good agility balance. Physicals off the bench. So if you want a really good super sub and you've got a few hundred k. A bit of fodder to burn. He's very good for that. I can't see him being... One thing I do say when I look at SBCs at this point as well is... Only real you do them if you're certain they're gonna last a while on your team. If you've got 150 200k lying around for this guy, then he probably ain't gonna last on your team that long. I don't think he's an end game player. We're a month or two away from what I would expect team of the season to start. Um and he's untradeable, so you're just putting your coins into him. For me, I wouldn't personally do him. Like I say, shame he's probably not gonna get any upgrades. If he'd 75 to 100 k I'd have been probably considering doing him as a super sub slightly pushing the border without any chem style chemistry's links really of being a bit overpriced not a bad card though decent option let me know what you guys think and as always keep it spicy